welcome to Prepping for Rita Moreno Awards. Hope you enjoy the video. Bye! Intoxicating smell of the graveyard. Once a year we gather beneath our family tree to honor the great cycle of life and death. I'm editing right now and I just noticed that I never told you what was going on in that clip. So that was us running the opening number for the first time since the show closed. And it actually went pretty well. We kind of knew what we were doing. I think it had been like two months between us running the show or running the opening number and it went really well. So at the Rita Moreno Awards, we have to perform one number and it has to be under a certain amount of time. So we just chose to do the opening number because it's a great number for Adam's family to represent us. So that's us rehearsing it. And now we're gonna move to another rehearsal and I think at this rehearsal we're cleaning the number and then I think I explained from there on so that's me checking in <laughs> okay bye we're at our Thursday rehearsal for Rita Moreno oh we leave in wait we leave in three days the family is leaving we're gonna go clean the beginning because it needs work we're adding the Beinekes into the opening number because we're only allowed to do one number for the like competition so we're adding the Beinekes into it and they're trying to learn it right now and it's really funny there's Galen who played Mom Beinekes there's Serena who plays Alice now turn and go right left Will who plays does that make sense? yeah oh wait can I actually see that? So, yeah, I'm learning this whole thing work. new. <laughs> hey guys, it's two in the morning right now, and I'm so tired, and I just want to sleep, but I'm so excited for Rita Moreno Awards that, like, I just can't, and, like, I'm getting sick, and I can feel it happening, and, like, if I got sleep, I wouldn't be sick, but I have this big project due tomorrow, I don't know, now I'm just going on a tangent, but, um, I don't know. We had rehearsal tonight. We had our Thursday rehearsal. We cleaned the dance. We just finished our last rehearsal and now we're on our way toys. to Lexi, where That's are we on our way funny. to? That's okay. Does it have like a Lexi? Oh. Where are we on our way San to San Jose? Well Walmart to get chocolate milk. <laughs> we're on our way to San Jose for the Rita Moreno Award. Saucy so you there! Lexi cover the camera because I can't reach. I forgot to vlog yesterday, so let me tell you what happened. We drove here, we got here, we checked in, we went and we left to go see Chicago, and then afterwards we went to eat, and then we came back here and we went to bed, and now we're here. Today this is the morning of the awards. I'm so excited. It's only 11, but I don't have to be in the, like, I don't have to be ready till 1, so I was like, I'm just gonna get ready now. Everyone in my room left because they went to go get breakfast and stuff. I'm literally sitting on the floor in the bathroom. <laughs> I'm getting ready right now, so I thought I'd just, like, get ready with you, I guess. And so let me explain, like, what's going on with the awards. Like, what are they, you know? So the Rita Moreno Awards, first of all, Rita Moreno is a very amazing actress, for those of you who don't know who she is. If you've seen West Side Story, she played Anita, which is awesome. But yeah, Rita Moreno is a very, very talented and skilled actress. She's done some bits with Animal, I'm pretty sure, like the Muppet, you know, Animal. Eva. In the morning. But yeah, she, my favorite is she was Anita in West Side Story. So she holds these awards every year. It like celebrates high school art excellence, I guess, in performance, in theater production, musical theater specifically. The reason I'm here is because our production of Adam's Family got nominated overall best production. And then Luciano's here too with us, obviously, because he plays Gomez. But he also got nominated best actor. So if we win the nomination and we get the award, then we get the award for California. And it's only just like a regional thing. And then Luciano, if Luch wins the best actor award, then he'll travel to New York for the Jimmy Awards and move to that. Which is like this whole other thing that's gigantic and it's awesome. So with this competition, we compete and the award ceremonies tonight. So we're competing today and then 
going to the awards tonight. With the competition, it's like this really big thing. You're not allowed to wear costumes. You're not allowed to use makeup. You're not allowed to use set pieces. You're not allowed to use props. So we have to dress in all black, but it has to be like formal blacks um, and comfortable enough to dance in. And so we're doing that tonight. And basically they're basing their like, they're basing their judgment on physicality and how you act and just the overall performance. So they're focusing on the actors, the singing and the dancing. It's so cool. <laughs> I'm gonna go do my makeup in my friend's room. I don't know which Birkenstocks are mine. There's two of the same pair in here. Also, like this is my room. I'm just gonna show you around. Why don't I just show you around? So you walk in, right? You're in. Then you look to your right and there's a broken mirror. To your left, there's this gorgeous bathroom with this, the doors that make you look really creepy, you know? But like, it's a nice bathroom. Oh, it bounced. But it's really cool. Um, the one flaw in it is that this shower <laughs> is, um, it doesn't shine. <laughs> And I think it's so nice though. It's like one of the rain showers. It's so cool, but like it doesn't shut So there's not really a lot of privacy in here if you look when the door is shut you can see right in but that's okay Anyway, so then you walk in right? It's just a little one bedroom room and there's one bed two beds And then there's our nightstand and it's already a mess in here and then there's our desk and then we have a nice TV Yeah, I have all this I'm gonna get my makeup and we're gonna go and then I'll come back here and finish. Okay, here I go. 322, here I come. I need a key, otherwise none of us are gonna be able to get back in here. You wanna hear a really funny story? I don't know where I put my key. Okay, I found the key. I found the key, brushed my teeth, got my makeup, and now I'm going to my friends. So, let's go. I'll see you there. I'm going to get my makeup. We're looking at the Rita Moreno nominees right now. This is so cool. Okay, here I go. <laughs> that I played in a musical would have to be um, race and Disney Yes! <laughs> okay, I'm dressed and I have my makeup and I'm going back to my room and doing my makeup in there and I'm getting ready, so let's go. The gang is here and we're getting ready. This is Taryn, or is Lexi, the redhead. She was. And there's Kayla. So, right now, do you remember True from like this, that one episode? <laughs> there goes my dress. Oh my god. There it goes. It's leaving. <laughs> She's literally hemming my skirt right now because it didn't fit me very well. Did you know if you brush your hair, if you do 100 strokes in your hair um, every day, it'll make your hair grow faster? Uh, too bad I never actually brush my hair ever. And you two can sleep together and I found with Taryn. Whoa, 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 whoa. We're all four sleeping together. Do you think? So we're gonna push the beds together and make one bigger? <gasps> Can we? Oh, wait, wait! We're doing it right now. Wait, wait, wait. No, we're not doing it right now. We have like 20 minutes. Funny story, we can't do it. It's not gonna work. Chloe? Yeah? You're hot. You're hot. Hey, Taryn? Yeah. You know, you're hot. hot. You're hot. Let me see. Ding, 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 ding. That's gonna be good. And it feels real good! So, what do I do on top? The red on top. Uh, wait, no, the nude on top. Hi, welcome back to my channel. <laughs> I'm Chloe Brandy, and this is Jada Diaz. Hi, we I'm play Jada. Grandma in Adam's family. <laughs> I'm like Grandma. This is Wednesday. Okay. Where, where are we going? Uh, some place? I was gonna say museum, that's wrong. We're, go we're going to a theater. I don't know what theater, but we're going to it for the Rita Moreno Awards, and we're about to compete. Oh my well, God. no, are we rehearsing to compete right now? And we're then rehearsing we're right now, and then we're competing tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Are you from what? That was the best friend of the whole thing. My name. How about you? What? Are you excited? Yeah, I'm really tired. Is that all? This is Broadway San Jose. Here goes the stage door. And we're in. We're sharing it, so let's try to only take this half of the room. It's over my here. sister died. I have I'm just gonna be like, in my bottom of front yard on you. Very oh, yeah. I don't know. What did we just do, John? We just performed. No, we didn't. We were hurt. We teched. Oh, we were hurt. We teched it, I guess. Okay, whatever. <laughs> I do. So. Don't mind me. I'm just shoving my hand up my Bye, John. Oh, oh, not like that. Sorry. <laughs> Wait, how did you? You guys need to talk about how you died again because I wasn't filming. Oh. <laughs> okay, so. Okay. Sorry. 
Once Mal started to have to be young, kind of act young again, be a little groovy, he lost his edge, you know. He had to keep up with his wife, but he was still, you know, he was used to being kind of low energy, not really doing much. So he developed a cocaine addiction to give him the energy and fire that he needed. So one day, Alice wanted to go, she just wanted to go on like a, a marathon, let's just say, mm, for like three days straight, no stopping, no telephone, no internet. Mal snorted a lot of cocaine, probably like 50 pounds, and he fucking exploded. How did you die? Oh. Well, so, uh, I got shot by an arrow, because Wednesday, and I tried the whole apple thing again, and it turns out you suck at archery. And then I how did you feel about the rest of it? It was good. It felt good. I'm editing again. This is the end of this video. I apologize for the lazy editing, the lack of text in places where there needed to be text so that you guys understood the context, and I also apologize for how long it took me to post this. I kind of forgot about it. So there's one more video to come, and hopefully that one will be better. Uh, bye. <laughs>